Hello Internet, I'm Bernard Says, a Tiki specialist. In this video tutorial, we'll see together how you can bootstrap a Tiki using Wiki syntax or Smarty template. I received a lot of good feedback about the design and demo screens in the Tiki I used in my video tutorial, and so I will share with you how it was done. But before that, the future! It's been a few weeks now, the Tiki community started to work on Tiki 21, our next LTS that will include many features, including a complete revamp of the mail system integration using Swift, revamping the file gallery and many other announcements like two-factor authentication, Vue.js integration and more. You can follow the progress at dev.tiki.org slash tiki21 and doc.tiki.org slash tiki21. Link will be in the description of this Tiki Express tutorial. It is coming fast. Tiki21 release process will start end of January 2020. Talking about commit and code, big thanks to Fabio for babysitting our Git integration. I believe that soon I will release a tutorial to help setting and managing Tiki using an ID. For those who didn't jump yet, I suggest to start with the tutorial we did together and to read the documentation at dev.tiki.org using Git with Tiki. Again, link will be in the description. Back to this tutorial, thanks to our developers specialized in design and CSS and especially Gary. Arigato. Uh, since Tiki 19, we integrate Bootstrap 4 in Tiki and also we integrate the new version of Found Awesome. With those two, you can create quickly awesome design and there are several ways to do it. And the way I will show you now are the way I use the most. Other TKR may prefer building their page using the HTML plugin, the layout plugin, complete custom code, or one of the other available options, including some I have no idea about. If you are using a different way, please add your stone under the comments of this video. Another note, this is a 10 minute tutorial, so I will skip explanation about Bootstrap, CSS, or Font Awesome. I'll stick to simple code to show you how it works, but I won't optimize bootstrap classes with collection of styles for all devices. You can find documentation about those in the description of this Tiki Express tutorial. Now, in this, Express Tiki, in this Tiki Express tutorial, we'll review together the basic about team CSS modules and look and feel panel. We'll review the different ways uh, uh, I'll give to bootstrap a Tiki. Uh, how I do using the wiki syntax and wiki plugin. We'll create a customized 404 page as example. Uh, how to use a wiki page as template. How to integrate the, this template using the plugin list. How to use a smarty template. And same, how to integrate it in the wiki page. When I bootstrap a Tiki, I usually start by sketching and planning things on the page of paper. So I can divide the work I have to do in the different area it is needed. It is just something to start with and change very often, but it helped me. I usually create a new temper, new Tiki to store my own CSS, icon, favicons, template, templates, etc. I'll also use the setting from the control panel look and feel. I'll use the module and the rest should happen inside the wiki page and the smarty template are stored in my teams. Let's see all that right now. Tiki use teams to store together the design elements that will create the display for pages and contents. Tiki comes by default with several teams and each team's folders contains subfolders to organize and keep in a single folder the different elements related to your team. Here we can see a new team I created for this demo with an SCSS folder, a CSS folder, image and the templates folder we will talk about later when saving our Smarty template. As you progress in your way to customize your Tiki, those folders and the file they contain will be edited constantly. Let's go on. When I bootstrap a Tiki, I usually start by configuring the settings. 
From the admin control panel look and feel, I set up the layout of the Tiki. To use a bootstrap menu, a brand icon, I remove the fixed wire, etc. From this control panel, you can also use the customization tab and add stuff like CSS style or JavaScript code without the need to access your server files. Next, let's set up the modules you need like a top menu. I stick to a clean bootstrap design using generally the website icon and a top menu with a single level. My top menu is usually my user menu, menu ID 43 in that case. And I move down the admin menu, the menu ID 42 at the bottom. Note that you better set to no the menu toggle, else with the bootstrap toggle you will have two toggles, one inside the other. You can also add styles to your modules, set different modules for different area or language. Fast forward, here after a quick work, how our Tiki look now. I mainly use three ways, and depending the case, I mix them. Sometimes I use the wiki syntax, relying on plugins like div, button, icons, or remark box. Sometimes I use a wiki page as template. Sometimes I use a Smarty template embedded in a wiki page. It is up to you to choose the right way depending on your skills and knowledge. Just with the editing permission on a wiki page, you can start right away to bootstrapping it. The wiki syntax is very powerful and you can check my tutorial about it if you need more information. This added to a few wiki plugins and you can build already very decent pages. And it is important to mention that Unlike most of the other web applications, Tiki plugins are integrated and part of the package and supported by the community. It means that you don't need extra step to use them and they are updated if necessary with each Tiki release. I use mostly the div plugin to bootstrap Tiki, allowing me to set classes and IDs. Of course, you need to know and to refer to the bootstrap documentation to create a grid or place elements. I'll use a few copy paths to show how I can create a bootstrap grid with a few elements in it. Let's do a customized 404 page for example. I set divs for row and call, add some textiles. If you know how our bootstrap and CSS, you got it already. I had a picture from Tiki Galleries, something pretty trivial to show things can be mixed. I save, ta-da! My pro! It goes fast and can be adjusted easily by editing your pages. You keep history of the change. The cons. You need to do it for each page. If you build complex page, the code review is not very easy and you will end eventually with missing closing divs or missing quotes. My specialty, by the way. Also, this method is CPU consu consuming. Tiki check the wiki plugins in the page and there is a kind of limit of the number of plugins you can add on the same page. After you insert between 30 to 50 plugins on a page, your code will be visible instead of what it should do. There is a setting for the maximum plugin passing passes Tiki will do. And you can set a bigger number in the admin editing plugin preference. But if you reach the limit, stop and move to one of the other methods I will describe. It is not good to overload your server and Tiki. Okay, let's move up a level. You can use a wiki page, a wiki template, to store HTML code to use a plugin to call it on your pages. While it was added to Tiki to be used in conjunction with the functionality of a plugin, I found a nice trick to use a wiki template on a page with an empty plugin list so you can design the page completely. And using it. I can more easily design pages with multiple sections like we see in so many bootstrap templated websites. I set a plugin list without any programmable filter or control block, only the name of the page I'll use as template. My template underscore TPL. I create the page. Using this method, I can create my page outside Tiki in an editor.
or eventually I can use the syntax highlighter called mirror integrated already in Tiki. You can activate it from the control panel editing and plugins features. Then toggle it on your wiki page and select the language you want to use. I paste the code from a bootstrap example. I save. Ratada! My pro for this method are principally that it keeps everything editable quickly from any place as long as I have internet access without requiring shell or server files access. This also allow me to give access to the design for part of the Tiki to a super user or customer. The Bitcoin is the same that I just mentioned it. The R case code will be accessible to a user without enough knowledge that may break it. But also, using this method, it is harder to manipulate data or variables, something you can do using Smarty Templates, as we are going to see. Okay, we move another level up. Smarty Templates are used in Tiki, so you can also use them. This option is for programmers and requires server access, but it is much powerful than the two other methods. This time, we'll use files, templates, stored in our Teams templates folder. Programming them is more natural for developers, and using Smarty Template, you can add condition and create, manipulate variables to perform calculation from tracker data, for example. I won't uh, explain a lot here. If you are a programmer, you understand already most of this. Here I created a sample that display and filter data from a tracker and grab the value of an amount field to calculate some results. Note that to embed a wiki plugin in a Smarty template, you'll need the wiki plugin tags and the literal tags. Using this, you can embed a tracker in a tracker using the result of a first tracker that has a relation with the second tracker. Here a table to display data, a forage to list all the elements of a tracker as a table row. I had a condition to display a green check icon if the value of the transaction status field equal completed. To create the calculation, as I first reset my variable to zero, inside the forage, I add my value to my existing total, so it is done for each pass. I save my editing, refresh the page, ta-da! I have designed my bootstrap table, my condition, applied calculation. Here too, codes are obvious, it is mainly the requirement to use the Smarty template. The pro is that you can manipulate data and condition, it is a lot easier way and you can almost do whatever you want. Again, you should know what you are doing if you got there and you'll find documentation at doc.tiki.org smarty template. Uh, you will get help using the Tiki dev list and the Tiki forum. A quick warning to use it that way and when developing you will need to be aware of permissions to use a page as smarty template. The Smarty options in the control panel, and it is better to keep your Unify index up to date all the time. So, show us your skills and your Tiki. If you use those information to improve or create a nice Tiki, please add a link in the channel comments. Same if you have questions with a remark, due to a number of questions and insistence from some Tikiers, those last two ones. Tiki is not my own product, it is my livelihood. I am a member of the Tiki community and I have limited free time to help and do those tutorials. Those tutorials, by the way, are not monetized and they are uh, released free of, uh, of advertising and free for everyone to reuse under CCC license. When I can help, I always do with great pleasure. But if you want things to go faster or you want me to do the work for you, you can hire me and I'll be glad to support your project. Same that, I'm sure not that Sergio, Robert, Steve and Avishai got their answers about how to bootstrap a Tiki website. Guys, run for it and share your nice bootstrap a Tiki when you're done. My next video tutorial will be about the plugin custom search, so if you don't want to miss my next tutorial, be sure you subscribe to my channel. 
Thanks again for watching this Tiki Express tutorial and may the power of Bootstrap and Tiki be with you.